Oakland, California, The Tonight Show, starring Tony King. Tonight's guests are Molly Costello and Vegan Boss. And now, here's Tony. Hey, everybody. Welcome to The Tonight Show. Did you know that the government was shut down recently? Yeah. Big Tone found out the other day when he was trying to use the bathroom uh, down at the federal building, which is where I take most of my dumps, and the door was locked. When I finally did find a suitable throne, I got to thinking. We the people, and lions, need basic services, and we can't afford to just sit around on the crapper waiting for a, a movement from a constipated Congress. So, being a lion of the people, Big Tone feels a sense of civic responsibility and and thought maybe I should toss my crown into the ring. So later I was putting together the invite list for my inaugural ball, and I started to wonder, would I be America's first cat elected to public office? Would that make me eligible for maybe some kind of international peace prize? Hmm? So I did a little Googling, and I found out that, mm, no, actually, this guy here, yeah, is already the mayor of Talkeetna, Alaska. Anyway, so if some regular little mouser can be mayor, I see no reason a beast of big tone stature couldn't move his operation from the white couch, which is where I sleep, to the White House. I really think I have a shot because I've been following the analytics on the hashtag trends, and I've learned that BarackObama.com was actually urging Americans to tweet to John Boner and tell him to end the shutdown. Well, I guess all those tweets work, folks. It was inspiring to see our unique brand of democracy at work. So inspiring, in fact, that Big Tone has decided to officially announce his candidacy for president of Twitter. Tonight's episode is brought to you by Nyan Nyan Nouveau. Sad human. You never have to drink alone. Now there's wine for cats. Hey, everybody. Please welcome to The Tonight Show, Molly Costello. Thank you, Big Tony. Hey, Molly. Welcome to the show. Hello. Make yourself hello. comfortable. Thank you so much. So, Molly, you're a political activist. Tell us, what initially inspired you to become an activist? And what inspires you today? You know, I'd have to say what inspired me to become an activist is like something really simple. It's the people and the power of the people. I have not been an activist my whole entire life. In fact, um, I'm a nurse. As a nurse, as somebody who brought comfort, you know, was my job was to bring comfort to people when they were sick and in pain. And, and specifically, you know, my job as a hospice nurse when they were dying, it was very hard for me to hear about what happened to Alan Bluford um, and to think he didn't get any, you know, any comfort or um, any care or anything like that on May 12th of 2012 because of what an OPD officer did to him. So it could be said that, you know, you went from healing people's bodies to healing the community. Yeah, I mean, you very well put. And that's actually, um, I work really closely with Alan Bluford's mom, Gerilyn Bluford, and that's, you know, we have a space that we're working out of now and um, on Telegraph Ave, and that's what she says is the mission of our space, is that the Alan Bluford Center for Justice is a, is a place for the, to heal the community. And that's definitely something that she feels very, very powerfully about, is that um, her son's name is going to be something that's carried on into the future for a very positive force here for the Oakland community. So uh, tell us, what's the, uh, what's the address of your space? And, uh, and do you have a website and uh, links about Ellen Bluford well, you'd like to share with us? thank you for asking, Tone. The, the address that we have for the Ellen Bluford Center for Justice is, um, it's on Telegraph Ave. It's 2434 Telegraph Ave. The website right now I'm going to give you is for the Justice for Ellen Bluford Coalition. And that is www dot justice for Alan Bluford dot org. Tell me, what's been your most exhilarating moment in a political action? Ah, oh, I love that question because I have so many exhilarating moments in political actions, big tone. 
And, um, you know, I'd have to say move-in yes. day in Oakland, January 28th. That's right. Absolutely love that. And I'd have to say, you know, there's a moment on that day, there were, you know, four different times when the people were peacefully marching into the streets on this beautiful sunny day. We were marching to the Henry J. Kaiser Center, you know, a place in downtown Oakland that was dedicated to the people of Oakland by Henry J. Kaiser. This amazing building, beautiful building that was dedicated to the people has been sitting empty um, in Oakland. And in fact, totally empty except for those archways, which if you drive past that building, you do well know that they're filled up with homeless people sleeping in these doorways, That's which right. have these inscriptions on them, you know, community service, betterment for all, prosperity, all this stuff that's like inscribed on this building. When you look at the Henry J. Kaiser Center, it's completely empty for the past six plus years inside. And there's homeless people like, an, you know, a message of irony sleeping on the outside. The people of Occupy Oakland said, we actually believe something positive for the community like this building is intended to be doing could be happening here. And, um, you know, we're going to march peacefully and take over this building. Um, and apparently OPD maybe got wise to what was happening and they were waiting for us and knew that, that this was, you know, that we were going to be coming. And OPD is not as peaceful as the protesters of Occupy Oakland or, you know, other organizations that I've marched with here in the streets of Oakland. OPD and when you is, say OPD, you mean... The Oakland Police Department. Aha! Uh -huh. They're not as peaceful as the as the Occupy protesters. You say? No, 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 no. In what not ways by far. are they violent? Uh, well, you know, I, as a peaceful member of Occupy Oakland, who has never done anything violent, Big Tone. I mean, I got to be honest, I never have. You've never done anything violent. No, with Occupy Oakland, I, I bet never. You beat up some some sassy boys. But I'm not sure. during not during the Occupy Oakland times. I have never ever No beat no no sassy no beat boys. Downs. Were no sassy boys, no beatdowns, down. no, no, no nothing. I have been like completely peaceful okay. and All right. I you know, I got to be honest that yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. And um, the only people who I've seen being violent out there in the streets are police officers with Oakland police um, and maybe there's been some other departments like at certain times with bigger demonstrations they call in their friends from <laughs> Pleasanton, from Walnut Creek, from Berkeley. Vacaville. Vacaville. Yes, I mean, yes, they, have... they all come pouring in yeah. to, yeah, yeah. I blame OPD cracking down on Occupy Oakland for all of that. Dog person or cat person? <laughs> wow. Um, I'm going to have to go dog person. However, I have been the proud owner. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, big tone. But wait, I've been the proud person, not owner, the proud person of both dogs and cats. And it's just right now because I have two lovely dogs who absolutely love cats. And I think cats are way intellectually superior to dogs. I do have to say that big tone. I don't, <laughs> I love both. I really do. Just right now, I'm the proud person, not owner. I'm the proud person of two lovely dogs. Tiger and Lulu, I love you. Listen, Big Tone has nothing against the canine variety Correct, of yes. animals. Slightly disappointed a little bit, Molly, but, uh, but let me tell you something. I hate to disappoint you, Big Tone, but go ahead. Go ahead. You're a very pretty lady, and oh. I would like it very much if you might want to Give me a scratch on my ear. Oh, you know I do. <laughs> we'll be right back, folks. Hey, America. Please welcome to the show, Vegan Boss. Hey, Boss. What's up, man? How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? So comfortable. Welcome to the show. Hey, man. Thanks for having me. <clears throat> so, tell us. Big Tone's been wondering, what compels you, Vegan Boss, to write music about political themes, shall we say? Current situations, man. Um, where the world is right now. That's what inspires me to, you know, write these types of songs. It's messed up out there, man. And um, I feel like someone should speak up, so I'm that guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Tough out there for the animals, yeah? Exactly, man. It's tough out there for everything. Yeah? If you don't have any money. 
Yeah, that's a good point. Big, <laughs> Big Tone knows all about that. I mean, uh, and it was nothing about that point. I'm actually a very successful entertainment industry magnate. You are, of man. Of sorts. Yeah, yeah. Going an in icon. The circus, you know, yeah, absolutely. I mean, <laughs> look at this suit, for example. Yeah, that's, that's man, that's handmade. I know. I, I, it's Listen, this is the challenge we always have on the show. People come on the show to talk about themselves, and they're mesmerized, and they just start to talk about me. So let's do, I don't know, somebody a favor, and, and let's get back to you. All right. All right? Let's do it. So, uh, Vegan Boss, I'm sure that you must have uh, a virtual empire of entertainment extravagant gigantic wonders that <laughs> yeah. you'd like to share with the world. Yeah, definitely, man. I just dropped an album, my debut album, Compassion is the Fashion. It's been doing very well. I like that. Um, Clever. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah good man. one. Mm -hmm. You can um, actually get that on uh, theveganboss.com. Um, also, I just did like a partnership uh, with my friend Simone Reyes uh, through Russell Simmons. Oh, yes. The Vegan Federation TV. Um, so pretty much you can look us up on uh, YouTube at youtube.com slash the vegan federation, or you can just go to YouTube and type in the vegan federation. Make sure you subscribe to that page and, um, you know, share it with your friends because we're turning it into the hub for everything vegan. That's fantastic. Vegan boss. Yeah. The question of the evening. What's that? Dog person or cat person? Oh, come on, man. I, I mean, I can show you better than I can tell you. Let's like, see what you got. I mean, this... I'm, I'm a real, like, I'm all the way a cat person. You see that? Let me see you that. You see that? This is a this is a credit card. That's a credit card with and my it, cats on it. It's your, this is your cat. Those are, that's a photo that I took. Oh, my God. This actually has a picture of a photo of Vegan Boss's cat. Yeah. Not a dog, by the way. Two cats. It's Fiona. Not a dog, not a bird, not a bunny, <laughs> not, a, not a crocodile, but a, but a cat. Two cats. I love that. That's, that's, that's excellent. You're going to play one of your songs for us tonight, aren't you? Yeah, man. Why um, don't you tell us a little bit about that song? Yeah, so this song um, is called I Love That. It was actually the first single that I put out on iTunes. Um, it was pretty much like a, an invitation to my haters to continue hating on me mm -hmm. because I love that. That's what fuels me. Their hate is what fuels me to go harder each and every time I step into that booth. And so that's what this song was, you know, all about. Believe it or not, Big Tone has a lot of haters out there as well. Damn. I know, it's amazing. I mean, you know, look at this. Yeah. You know, who could hate this? But, you know, it happens. So, hey, you're a vegan, right? I'm a vegan, man. Vegan boss. What's your favorite vegan food? What would you say? What, what's one of your favorite vegan dishes for the folks out there? Um, Probably like a vegan enchilada. Vegan it's enchilada. Easy. It's real easy to make. Yeah? You know, I make it myself. How do you, you know? do that? I put it in the oven. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a lot more steps to it, but uh, <laughs> that's that's, yeah, that's that's the main thing. That's classified yeah, information. <laughs> the rest of the steps. <laughs> hey, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Coming up next, we're gonna hear some uh, some music from Vegan Boss. Stick around. Okay. 
down my plans. And it didn't involve any contraband. Contrary to your beliefs, I rose from the streets. And now I'm raising hell for certain industries. The satanic ways of this crazy world don't break me. I'm God sent. Heavenly build your evil ways, don't shake me. You niggas just don't face me. In fact, I feel amazing. The haters motivate me to step my game up daily. To go harder, live longer, work out, to get stronger. Exercise my brain, dog. Let me drop some knowledge on you. They don't give a fuck about you, about me. This is much deeper than race, cause it stems from a deep feet. Keep hating on me. I love that. Take a picture, you should take a picture, cause that shit'll last long. 